Hello, hello everyone. So welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I built this really nice nav bar uh, blur effect that as you scroll down into your page, elements like uh, images and text elements are going to be fading into your nav bar. And I find that as a, you know, a very nice uh, sort of design that you can implement on backgrounds that are white, backgrounds that are kind of light, or even darker backgrounds. So today I'm going to basically show you how I build it. So we're going to build it together. And I'm going to show you how to implement it to both light mode and dark mode. It's very simple. And if this is something interested, interesting for you, you can also find the remix link for this nav bar in the description below. And you can also find the, the link to this uh, portfolio template as well. So if that's interesting for you, let's go ahead and start building. And by the way, if you guys are interested in building this type of portfolio and knowing how to or, or learning how to deal with CMS items and build advanced framer applications, be sure to check the description below. I have a link to my uh, new boot camp that just came out where you go from learning simple uh, static websites, being comfortable in building to, in building with Framer to actually building more advanced uh, Framer projects. So be sure to check that out. So anyways, I, uh, I have this nice desktop uh, and tablet and phone version of like this card set up here where we have different um, blogs that we can click into. And I want to add a nav bar that if you were to scroll down um, to this page, it would kind of have that blur effect, right? So that's our main mission for today. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and first thing that we want to do is we want to add a nav bar. So uh, we can either add a nav bar here or we can make it, you know, from scratch ourselves. Um, in this case, I'm going to use Compa's nav bar. So Compa has like this free uh, nav bar that we can use and it's very editable. So that's really good. And what we can do is click here on link and replace all. And let's make sure that all of these different things that we have are set to our neutral color. And let's remove this, this fill color. And Compa has these buttons um, by default. Let's also make these buttons, turn these buttons into this neutral color that we have because neutral, because in dark mode, they're going to be light and in light mode, they're going to be dark, right? So this is it. So in dark mode, it would kind of look like this. We do not need this one uh, because it's like a drop down. Let's make our lives easier today. And this one, for example, we need to fix. Let's just make it all um, with this neutral option. And so right now we got something good going on. It's getting there. And if I were to finish this and click on the light mode, it would kind of look like this, which is good. So we want to delete this. We want to duplicate this. We want to put this as contact. We don't want this badge. We don't want this badge. We can delete this since it's basically the same. Um, this is the same for the mobile. So as you can see how easy it is to build with this compa thing, right? That's why I always tend to use compa for building that bars. Let's go back to the dark mode. And now what we have our dark mode is going to be a shade of complete black zero 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 and the, the light mode is going to be complete white right so we need a basically a blur that goes behind this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this and i'm going to create a frame so clicking on f and going like this somehow like this and i'm going to click on this and on this main primary nav bar and I'm going to increase this, the, the, the size of the bottom padding. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in here. Put this down here. Make this, make this absolute. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the Z index to zero. And make sure that it goes all the way like this. And just to make extra sure, let's make this relative. I'm going to increase the width to about 120 and put this in the middle. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why, because we're going to blur this, right? We're going to blur this particular thing. And in order to do that, we just click on here, filters, blur. And we start to blur it by increasing the amount over here. And I need this to be a little bit higher because now if I go here, well, I have to add a, first a fix, uh, a sticky section. So let me do that. Let me m remove this from here because we don't really need it from here. But this needs this sticky and we need to make this overflow visible and we need to increase the Z index here and we can already start seeing that this blur effect is going into effect so that's basically the whole process I mean you can just eventually you know increase the the, the, the blur to go downwards make sure that it doesn't go over this this limit because then it would be it wouldn't really work it would be too much but make sure to you know play with it and see how far you want to go um, in terms of of the gradient placement but this is basically the way of doing it and right now um, if I were to click this it's set to F so if I go to this dark mode it's not gonna work but we got we just gotta make sure that this uh, color is set to background and then it's going to basically switch so I can go here to pr press play and it's going to work in the dark mode as well A very nice little effect here what you can also do is you can click here and we can turn this into a gradient where this part can be back background and this part as well but it can be set to zero and we can kind of make sure that on the phone it's the same uh, in the light mode it's the same and oh. in this case, with when it's a gradient, you have to make sure that it's a little bit lower. And I would just make sure that it's not a gradient. Actually, this is just an experiment. It would be best if it was a solid um, fill like this with this blur effect. So basically, that's the way to do it. Um, so I'm going to have a link to, to uh, this particular um, nav bar in the description below. If it's something interesting for you guys, uh, feel free to use it in your own projects. Like I said, this is just basically it. And you can also decrease it like this to see how it would work. So you don't get this nasty thing on the, on the sides. Make sure that this is also set to fill, not fixed and that these are set to their main, to their tablet and phone, right? So, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial from today. It was quite nice to, to you know, do this. It gives the, the, the project an overall really nice look. And if, um, if again, if you want to uh, get this remix link to this snap bar, feel free to check out the description below. Alright guys, thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day today. Thanks. Bye-bye.